everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome you have now become a baby bee um what i have on my lips today is this number from freedom be free to make up professional london pro melts lip gloss now if I can remember where I got this, it was in a three pack. I know that, but I can't remember. <laughs> and on top, as a lip topper, I have the Milk Makeup Holographic Lip Gloss. That is a tad cheaper than the Kevin Aquan Molten Lip Gloss. And I just have it right there. Okay, um, this is a video that I don't think I've ever done for you guys. And it's my favorite brushes. I cannot believe I did not do that for you because I have a lot of favorite brushes by a lot of different brands so I'm just gonna dig through here because I got quite a few and I'm not gonna no rhyme or reason I'm just gonna pick whatever <laughs> the first one I pick is Stila <laughs> For those of you who don't know, Stila is my all-time favorite brand. This is a nice one. I like to pat color on the mobile lid. It's very dense and short, and I like that. This is it Cosmetics. Oh, this brush is so soft. Um, it's a nice fan brush. You can use it for many different things. I use it for highlighting up here or bronzing uh carving out my uh, try to camouflage my five chins <laughs> and this is the infamous real techniques brush that i usually just i put my powder on to set my foundation with this one, um, I use it a lot actually. This one and this one is from It Cosmetics as well. And this one I usually use to um, either foundation, uh, put, push the foundation into my skin, or I use it for um, powder as well. Um, it's a dense, kind of dense, short, stubby brush. I wish it was a tad longer, but I still love it. This is the Urban Decay. Dense, really, really soft. Um, again, good for blending. It's a good blender for bronzer or whatever you want to use it for that's the good thing about brushes even though they say whatever they say like this one um optical blurring so like you know blurring right but even though they say something on it like this is the elizabeth mott blending brush yes it's a great blending brush but you can also use it for other things. You can set your under eye, you can, you know, do your eyebrow, you can, you know, carve out your nose. Like, you can do so much with a brush like this. That's why I say people have a misconception about brushes. They, like these beauty gurus, they, they say, oh, you have to have a a brush for this and a brush for that and that, 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 that. no you don't <laughs> this is from Bedellium Tools 787 uh, Stephanie Lang got me into this brush it is a nice big blending brush for the eyeshadow and it's perfect for us people with hooded lids because uh, I'm just my foot fell asleep so I'm <laughs> moving around um, it's nice and it's dense. It's a, a bigger, bigger bristles, but it's really not, it's not as dense as those little ones. And it blends really, really well. I have a couple of these ones, this particular one, 787. 
And this is BH Cosmetics Fan Brush. I like this brush also for highlight. I also like it for bronzing up on my forehead because I got a big forehead. And I like it to take out this chicken chin. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is the Sigma E25 blending brush. I think everybody's seen that one. And the E25, I put two of them down. Uh, this is the Luxie 504 large angled brush. I also like using this to highlight up here. Um, it's just got that nice curve to it. And when I just want to do a little bit of a uh, highlight, I, I like to use these ones when I want to like shine to the stars, you know. But this one, I would like just, just a tad, just to keep a little bit, you know, keep it like for work and stuff. Like if you're going to work, I like really like this it cosmetics brush. This one you can use for highlighting for blush i like it actually for blush because it's long handle and so because i'm always heavy-handed with the blush i always end up putting so much on where i gotta try and take some off and this brush is perfect for that because <laughs> when you're holding it you have more control when you're holding it right so when you have it like far away like this, you have less control. So you just kind of, the blush goes wherever. But here, if you're holding it, it goes like the blush is going where you're putting it. So you get end up getting like these big pink cheeks. This is the only Morphe brush I have, and it's the M405. I'm not quite sure where I got it from, but. It's, it's an okay brush, but it does shed. It sheds a little bit, but it, it's not bad. This is from, uh, uh, this is organic and vegan, and that's from Terre Mer. Terre, Terre Mer? Uh, I also use this one for highlighting. Um, this one is from v, VH Cosmetics. It's the V2. I really love this. I love, I love this. I love this brush so much. It's perfect for blush because you put the blush on and it's tapered as you can see. It's got a little taper. You just put the tip, tip and you just go and swirl. So you're not getting all the bristles. So you know you're not going to screw up like, I always do. Uh, this is the Tarte. Um, I forget what it's called. It needs to be washed, as you can see. It's kind of dirty. And uh, this is what I use mostly for my foundation. Um, when I'm using foundation that I use a, um, a brush with. Because not all foundations I use a brush. I use usually, usually use a brush, but the odd time I'll use a beauty blender depending on what foundation I'm using. I like only this big brush and only for foundation. I don't like all the other ones. I don't like the under eye one or none of that. Just this big one. I don't like the other ones. I like how this puts the foundation on. There's no streaking. Um, it's just really soft and smooth, and it gives you a really nice finish. I don't like the other ones. So, this one is Bare, Minimal, Bare Minerals Full Fa Flawless Face. And this is what I usually use. This one... And this one from Sigma Angled Top Kabuki, I use for um, powdering my face. And I also use, to powder my face, I use this one as well. I meant to say that. But this one 
mostly this one is it's perfect for powder and it's it's just awesome it's a great brush this i uh sigma accentuate highlighter f56 brush and it says highlighter but i use it as a bronzer or to carve out my cheeks it's a perfect like see like it's a perfect shape to um to carve out your cheeks and down here as well and i couldn't use it on my forehead but more so my cheeks because of the shape and size of it right sigma makes really good brushes uh, this is the MAC 217. Everybody's seen this one, the blending brush. I got a couple of those. This is the Royal and Langnickel Fan uh, VMD 300. I love this brush. Oh, it is so easy to use, easy to work with. Just, oh, fantastic brush. This is the... Makeup Forever Professional 242 Wavy, and it's uh, more dense, but, uh, more dense than the Bedallium, the yellow one, because this one's more, it's got more give, this one's more dense, but it, it's good for inside the crease and the outer V. That's what I use it for. This is the Ofra uh, Professional Makeup 20. It's dense. It's nice. Perfect for under the eye, setting, or baking if you so choose. And this one's the Ofra 11. And I use it for my eye, my mobile lid. And this is the Vera Mona. And it's the smudging br brush that I use for, um, like glitter or wet to put right here. It's perfect. Like, it's dense. It's small. And, oh, one more. Two, two more. This is the Luxie 231 Small Tapered Blending Brush. I like this one. And this is the Stelazi S122. Also good for under the eye. It's a little small, but it still works. And on top of the mobile lid or underneath the brow, um, it's got that it's not as dense as the um, Lux, uh, not the Luxie, the Ofra, but and it's got a little bit of a give where it's a bit smaller than so the Ofra is more rounded and longer. This one's more short and stubby. And I, I got tons more from upstairs, but. I figure I, I went through them all and I picked out the ones that I love the most. And it would be these ones. Because I'm like, hey, I never went through my brushes for you guys. So there you have it. I hope you like this video. Um, I went through a lot to try and go through all my brushes because I have them everywhere. <laughs> but. I hope you like it and um, give it a thumbs up. I'd really appreciate it. And subscribe if you haven't already right here. And I'll put a couple of videos here for you guys. And you're beautiful. Don't let anybody ever tell you different. And keep smiling. I love you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.